because I want to take a few minutes to talk about something which is apparently on the minds of many people, especially here in America. Turn the news on this morning. All I'm getting is reporting about what's going to happen on Monday. It's going to happen on Monday, April 8. A solar eclipse, a solar eclipse, huge big solar eclipse. And not only that, but because of that and because of the earthquake which took place in New York on April 4, and the magnitude was 4.8. There are all kinds of people now making all kinds of association. Oh, well, you know, earthquake 4.8, solar eclipse, April 8, 4, 8. So there got to be a connection. It's going to be a sign. It shows that God is going to punish America. It shows that Jesus Christ has to come back soon. It's amazing when you read some of these statements and when you hear that. I just want to read to you from the New York Post what is written here on April 4. It was published today. A rare earthquake rocks the New York City area Friday morning. And of course, this was, in fact, the largest tremor to strike near the Big Apple in 140 years. But then it says that the Sun added that on April 6, that some ex-users, it was formerly Twitter, are pushing outlandish theories linking the quake to the rare solar eclipse that will occur on Monday, April 8. It's not a coincidence that the magnitude earthquake was 4.8 and the solar eclipse is on 4.8 or 4.8, posted one user. This claim caused a stir among other users because they say a 4.8 is a man-made measurement. The Daily Beast reported on April 5 that far-right congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene posted on X, God is sending America strong signs to tell us to repent. Earthquakes and eclipses and many more things to come. And then the outlet continued, it's not the first time she alluded to an apocalyptic reckoning if Trump will not be elected president in November. Last year she linked him to Jesus Christ himself because he, like the Christian Messiah, was arrested and persecuted by radical, corrupt governments. Now let me repeat, to associate the New York City earthquake and the solar eclipse with Jesus Christ's coming is totally ridiculous, absolute, complete, utter nonsense. Now, we also are going to publish an article in this next update will be entitled Solar Eclipse and the Coming of Christ. And it goes into all kinds of theories over the years, over the decades, over the centuries, where these kind of associations were made when it comes to solar eclipses and other phenomena like, you know, bloody moons or blood moons or whatever it's called. And so this is all indication that Jesus Christ is going to return soon. You know, this has been the case for over 2,000 years almost, and of course it never has happened. And so this article is quite interesting because some of the developments were extremely dangerous. People have killed themselves over it, as the article points out. But what I want to point out is it is an absolutely ludicrous association to suggest that God would be angry with Americans who do not vote for Trump in the next election. Now, we are going to, in the next update, quote several Q&As we have written to the effect that a true Christian, who wants to be a true Christian, shouldn't vote at all for nobody in the presidential election. I'm just amazed at so many who believe that they are part in the body of Christ have no problem with voting, no problem with serving on the jury, and perhaps as time develops, they will have no problem with joining the military. Because these three things have always gone together. So it's high time for those people to wake up. And it's also, of course, extremely important for us not to fall into that same trap, which is coming from Satan, from no other individual. And we should clearly understand that. But I'd like to say a little bit more than that. Because Christ has definitely said that in the end times in which we are living, there will be earthquakes at various places. You can read that in Matthew chapter 24 and verse 7. He called it the beginning of sorrows. The beginning of sorrows. Not the end yet, the beginning of sorrows. 
But he also, in the book of Luke, and that would be in chapter 21 and verse 11, he talks about fearful sights and great signs from heaven. And people are saying, oh, well, now solar eclipse, that's part of it. Blood moons, part of it. No, it's not, because if you look at the context, he's talking about these signs, not talking about the heavenly signs yet, that's something different. He's talking about those signs in the context of danger, in the context of destruction. Calls them and names them in addition to pestilence and wars, earthquakes. A solar eclipse, and it's going to be a great attraction for many people. They also want to travel over there. They say it's going to be a huge phenomenon. They are renting hotel rooms for 900 bucks a night for people who want to go there to see these solar eclipses. Nothing to do with fearful signs. They are going to enjoy those things, so they say. So this scripture cannot be possibly applied to these kind of phenomena. But what is important, people jump on these things because they don't understand the Bible. They don't understand prophecy, have no clue about prophecy. So let's make sure that we don't fall into the same kind of trap either. Because, I mean, you read the papers and you hear the news and you listen to the commentators and some of them are really very outspoken when it comes to this kind of thing, especially those self-proclaimed TV evangelists and others, you know, who are giving these kind of statements. Let's make sure we don't not getting confused because God is not the author of confusion, Satan is. So let's recognize for what it is. Christ says, no one knows when I return and I will come at a time when you don't even expect it. So let's keep that in mind. <laughs>